Most websites you visit are dynamic websites. That means that the pages you see are created on the fly and data usually comes from a database. Look at this news website. Each day the articles are different. Or YouTube. You type in a search and the result is a list of videos. Or a webshop like we are going to build. You click a product category, the database is queried and the resulting products are shown. All these types of websites have one thing in common. There is a part that is static and will always look the same. Here you see those areas in blue. And there is a part that is dynamic and depends on the contents of the database. Here you see those areas in red. It is our goal to create a website that has static parts and dynamic parts. And Django has a mechanism for that. Let me introduce to you templates. Templates allow you to take some HTML and insert data from the database. Let me demonstrate this. The first thing I do is create a folder for the templates in the shop application. Django will look for templates in this folder. It is custom to create a subfolder with the app name. This allows templates with the same name in different applications in the project. Now I create the template called index.html in the shop subfolder. Let me type a minimalistic valid HTML page that shows a welcome message. The template is ready. Let's load it in the view. The get method returns plain text in the HTTP response. Let's load and return the template. I import the template loader. I create a class variable that stores the template name directly under the class definition. Look at the template path. The shop folder is the folder I just created in the templates folder. To render templates, I need to pass data and the request object. Before we start injecting real data, let's test if the simple HTML page without data works. For this, I create an empty context dictionary. I load the template. And finally, I replace the plain text with the rendered template. Let's reload the browser and see what happens. If the page source tab is still open, close it. Very nice! And what does the page source look like? This is the HTML from the template. And at this point, we are ready to inject some data in the page. Before we start working with databases, I will just create some quick example data. The data will be hard coded in the context dictionary. And now we loop through the products list in the template. This loop references the product key in the context you just created. Whatever we put in this loop is rendered for each item in the products list. I will put a product div in it.
The double braces indicate a variable. It outputs a value from the context. Let's test it. Even with a simple list like this, you already see the power of templates in Django. But the possibilities do not end here. We can improve the page with some styling and formatting. Let's start with some styling. We need CSS and for this I need to explain Django static files.